Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will modify the shell script files and add some environment variables. To explain why we will use environment variable in the shell script file, I want you to open the buildimage.sh and we will use that as an example. This is the shell script file code build we use to build the docker image. And here the command is sudo docker build minus t and the tag name. This means that every image our code build project builds, it is going to target techmax. Instead of hard coding our image tag here, we will use environment variable to tag our image any name we want. So what we will do is modify this command. To modify this command, the first thing I want you to do is remove the sudo. So I'm going to remove the sudo. We don't need it. Once you have removed sudo, another thing I want you to do is delete this value here and we are going to enter environment variable instead to enter an environment variable for our tag name we will enter it like this this is how you will enter your environment variable it always starts with dollar sign and in all caps we will call it image tag you can give it any name you want since we will use this environment variable to tag our image, that is why I called it image tag. Once you have entered the environment variable for the tag name, another thing we need to add to this command is the path to our Docker file. If you look here, our Docker file is not in the root of our project folder, but it is in the techmax folder. So we have to specify that part here. To specify the path, first I want you to put your cursor after build then enter a space once you've entered a space you will type your command like this this is how you will enter the command the dash F stands for file and we are telling it the path to our Docker file. So if you look here, remember what I said in the previous lecture, when you create the folder, you will store your Docker file in. I told you to name that folder, whatever name you will tag your image. In this project, I will tag my image techmax. So for this environment variable image tag, when I enter the value in my code build job, I will enter the value techmax. So here it will use that value techmax forward slash docker file. So I'm telling it in the techmax folder, you will find my docker file in there. That is what this means. Next, let's open the push image shell script file. Once we open it, we're also going to add some environment variables in here. We will add our environment variable to this command. And the first thing I want you to do is put your cursor here. And I want you to delete everything here, just like this. The reason why we are removing sudo from our command is because it is not needed in the container that code build will use to build our image. The next thing I want you to do is come over here where I have AOS node 77. We are going to use an environment variable here, and this will allow you to enter the username of your Docker Hub account in your code build job. Instead of hard coding the value here, we will enter an environment variable called Docker Hub username that we will use to enter the value in our code build job. So here, I want you to delete this. Once you've deleted, we are going to enter this environment variable. Call the environment variable Docker Hub username and type it like this. This is the environment variable we will use to enter our Docker Hub username. Then the next thing we are going to enter is our password. For the password, I want you to remove this value here. So it should only say dash dash password. Once you've entered your password like this, add another space. And we are going to add an environment variable here. So I'm just going to copy this environment variable. And I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to modify the username and change it to password. 
So here we have the environment variable, Docker Hub username, and Docker Hub password. When we create the code build job, we will enter the actual value. The next command we will modify is on line 10. So you see here where we have tech max, this is the name we will tag our image. So instead of hard coding our image tag here, we will use an environment variable. Remember in our build image.sh, for our image tag, we are using this environment variable name. So what I want you to do is copy this. Once you copy it, come back to your push image.sh file. And for the tech max one, we are going to remove it and paste that environment variable in there. So make sure there's a space between tag and your environment variable, and there's also a space here. The next value we will modify is here. So where you see your username, in my case, it is AOS Note 77. That is the username to your Docker Hub account. Remember, we create that environment variable here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. The next value we will modify is here, and this is going to be the name of your repository in Docker Hub. So what I want you to do is we can copy this to start, and we will paste it here. And I want you to remove the username, and we will call it repo name. So type it like this. So these are the environment variables we will use. Your environment variable should read Docker Hub repo name. The next command we will modify is on line 13. And the same thing we did here is what we have to do here. So just copy this from your Docker Hub username forward slash Docker Hub repo name, copy it. And we are going to replace this with it. Don't forget to remove the sudo from this command. So on line 10, remove the sudo and on line 13, remove the sudo. So for your shell script file, it should be docker login, docker tag, docker push. And in your build image.sh, you should have docker build. Remove the sudo from your shell script file. Once you have removed the sudo, make sure you save your file. I'll select file and select save all. These are the environment variables we will use in this code build job. I will also leave this reference file in this video's description so you can compare it to yours. I also want to encourage you to hang in there if you don't understand what an environment variable is. When we create our code build job, it will be clear to you. So hang in there for now. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.